stair is a very important part of your building okay why the stair is provided in any building just to go the upper floor from the lower one this is the main function of your stair so as a civil engineer you should know the different component of a stair how a stair is designed and what are the difficulties or what are the different method to provide the support of a stair so in this video i will discuss first the general arrangement or how the dimension of a stair are fixed up and next how the support of a stair is meant okay so very first just assume this is the stair of your home okay and this is the plan view if you see from the top of your building you can see the stair look like this and what is the meaning of this drawing this is the end sorry this is the start okay so first step this is you go up 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 and here you take the rest this part is known as mid landing if you see in elevation you know the elevation view so this is the mid landing this was your first step then you go up okay and you take rest here that's why this is known as landing or mid landing because this is provided at the middle of the height from first floor to second floor or ground floor to first floor okay and again you take turn and go up 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 and reach your next floor so say this was your starting point or ground floor this was your mid landing and you have reached here or the first floor so these are the basic things of any stair planning now how you decide that how much length is required let's say for here 2.5 meter plus 1.2 meter what are this say 1.2 meter is your mid landing width okay this is the common practice now what about this 2.5 meter length how this is come so in this video i will discuss about this so for now you have learned what is mid landing what is the up stair what is the down stair everything okay and how in plan a stair is represented now for a stair you can consider it as a step now for any step there are two part one is do you know this this is known as your riser and this is known as tread clear so this is riser and this is tread by one riser and one tread you form a single step clear so you can see here for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total 9 step so for 9 step how much riser is required so for any single step you have to provide at least one riser one tread but when you reach there say this is the last step here your this is riser and this is your tread but tread that means your mid landing so always your riser will be more than your tread okay so if your total number of your tread is 9 your riser would be 10 just say this is the tread to form this single tread you need this riser and this riser clear now let's see how this 2.5 meter length come okay so say this is your plinth level or ground floor starting why plinth level you know the meaning of plinth level last videos i have already told what is plinth level what is its significance why it is important to your building so this is your plinth level and you start your stair from here from this point you go up 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 and you reach your mid landing what is the length of this mid landing 1.2 meter this is the normal normal practice clear now what is the length from this point to this point i have already told this is 2.5 meter now the question is from where this 2.5 meter comes okay so what is the floor to floor height you have to start from floor to floor height so this is a first floor this is a single uh, second floor or this is the ground floor this is your first floor normal floor to floor height is your 3.3 meter so if this is the mid landing what is the mid height 1.65 meters simply 3.3 meter divided by 2 okay 
now for each riser you gain how much 150 mm this is the standard height of any riser 150 mm so you have to achieve how much 1650 mm so simply divide it you get total riser number 11 now what was there for each one trade you need two riser or number of trade is always less compared to your riser how much always your number of trade is number of riser minus 1 i have already mentioned the reason because for last riser you already reach your mid landing there is no trade that's why always to find trade you have to subtract 1 from the number of your riser clear so how much trade is required 11 minus 1 or 10 so this is one trade this is another this is another like this total 10 riser sorry 10 trade is required and what is the length of this trade sorry the width of this trade how much normally this is 250 you can say the length of your feet you can also provide 3 uh, 300 mm but in that case the length of your stair become too much so that's why only 250 mm is provided for each trade so now how much trade is required total 10 so what should be the total length simply multiply with 10 that is your 2500 mm or 2.5 meter so from this point to this point okay your length should be 2.5 meter now you got the basic form where this 2.5 meter come okay so if i ask you what should be the length of this slab simply this is the right angle triangle and this height is 1.6 meter and your length is 2.5 meter okay now you can find it by the theory of pythagoras just find it and also in the comment section tell me what is the angle made by your stair with your ground what should be the angle this should be this should come in your calculation uh, near about 33 degree like that okay just check it whether it is 33 degree or more than that or less than that okay and also let me know so this is the process how you determine the dimension of your stair now you got the dimension or the length this should be 1.2 meter at how this length is 2.5 meter now so this side what should be the length normally the length of each step is also 1.2 meter and this is depend on totally your requirement if you think you have say for stair you have only this much width so within this length you have to provide upper flight and lower flight by the way each of this set of step is known as flight okay this is going up or say this is going down flight as you can say okay so this is how your geometry of your stair is fixed up now i am going to tell you what are the support condition how is stair is supported so this was your plinth level okay you know the meaning of plinth level and now in the plinth level your stair is started so at that location you have to provide a beam like that or you can say a short column or you can say a wall whatever you can say but this beam must be supported at the bottom by a footing or by a foundation like this okay and then your flight started you go off you stand on mid landing here either you can support here you have to provide a beam upon which your mid landing is supported and your flight is supported on mid landing and again for upper flight this is supported at mid landing and this is end is supported on mid landing and your mid landing is supported on this beam so here you can see the beams are provided at the end or at the end of landing 
this is the landing and this is the landing this is mid landing this is full landing okay and there is another process where this beam are provided at flight here just like this here you can see this is the beam provided end of the flight here is also the at the end of this flight and in this case your landing portion is simply act as a what is this this act as a cantilever you know at the, and uh, in case of a cantilever the support is only at one end here the mid landing is supported on this beam and flight is also supported on this beam and your landing should be designed as a cantilever okay